What did the what did the horse say when it fell down? Help. I've fallen and I can't giddy up. How many of these did you prepare? <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reactions. You need some Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. I better not get one of those yeah. dumb jokes for every intro. You can giddy up now. Uh, today, so uh, a trailer dropped just a few days ago. Sorry for just not getting to it, but How uh, dare it's you. one of Rishi Kapoor's last film, if not his last film, but he wasn't able to finish it. Mm. And so kind of similar to when Heath Ledger passed. Um, he was in, in the middle of Imaginary Dr. Dr. Yeah. Parnassus, Johnny Depp, uh, Jude Law, and Colin Firth. No, Farrell. Farrell. It's not Firth. Yeah. Um, finished it for him. Yeah. So this is Rishi Kapoor film, and uh, I believe Paresh Rawal and came, Judy Chawla. He came and finished his role for Got him. It. Got and it. And Judy Chawla was also in this film. But the film is called Sharmaji Namkin. Um, but you said it's not his last. It was one. I don't know. Last. I just I as know far as release date, maybe. Yeah. I don't okay. know if he has more than this. Uh, you guys can let me know. I don't know. I just know obviously it's one of his last. Sure. Because he wasn't able to finish it. Um, so it very well could be his last, but I don't know. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Stretch Rick. And stretching. <laughs> जब से रिटायर हुए माता चढ़ गई सर पे कभी पानी की मोटर कभी कॉलोनी का गेट कभी पार्किंग पापा क्या कर रहे हो रोज कोई नया कलेज ढूंढ लेते हो दुनिया देखो लोगों से मिलो मजे करो ना लाइफ में मैं सोचा था कि एक चाट कॉलर खोला जाए इन उधर एक हम में एक बात तेरे अरोड़े और रिटायर लाइफ ऐसी होती है स्लो और लंबी लग जाएगी आद कितना वॉक करूं, कितना टीवी देखूं, छह हफ्ते हो गए, अभी तक कुसुम की चोरी पकड़ी नहीं गई है। इन लोगों ने इतने में एक बंद रहे अरोड़े, दिल के इमोशनों को तोड़े तोड़े फोड़े। क्या जी? वो जुम्मा क्लास का क्या हुआ? कितनी बार बोला है कोई ढंग का ड्राइविंग कोर्स कर लो, योगा स्टार्ट कर I cooking is an art. I am a man. I am a man. I am a I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. I am a लड़का लड़की कभी दोस्त नहीं होते शर्मे सही सही लगा के कहाँ से आ रहे हो एनजीओ गए हैं और कौन तो साइलेंट पे था बज गया पापा आपने मुझसे झूठ बोला नहीं नहीं रिंकू ऐसा नहीं है जैसे तू समझ रहा है पापा तो कैसा है यार हम एक सोसाइटी में रहते हैं आपको फर्क नहीं पड़ता मुझे पड़ता है हर चीज आपके हिसाब से नहीं होगी मैं जैसा हूँ वैसा हूँ मुझे किसी से परमिशन लेने की जरूरत नहीं है जब तक कोई बिल ना भर रहा हो किसी को मेरी याद नहीं आती क्या फायदा है जब फैमिली का उल्टी सीधी जैसी भी हो फैमिली है तू किसी का लोड मत ले पड़े थे रथ का नाम ले और चढ़ जा चौपर में That's 
it's going to be tough, man. Yeah. Because I, the film overall looks like it's going to be like a cute film. And obviously they didn't have much of a choice. Obviously, I'm sure they, they had a bunch of dialogue with the filmmakers and the family. It's like, obviously we probably want it, if this is his last work or one of his last works, we probably right. want it to be seen, right? Right. Imagine if Dr. Parnassus had the luxury of the fact that it was almost, it kind of fit into the story. To make it multiple characters. It was in a, right. it was in an imaginarium. Right. And so anytime you walk through something, he came out looking different. different. And so that kind of added, like, it kind of let them change the character a little bit. This one, it goes to show you how two actors playing the same role can play so differently. Yeah. And none of them is wrong. And right. I'm sure he wasn't trying to, and I'm sure he had to, like, um, kind of study Rishi a little bit, but you also just can't do an impression even though you're playing the same person because then it right. can come off really weird. And I can't think of a film that's done that in the span of its... I mean, it's been done in sequels, mm -hmm. but I can't remember in a In the film, same film. Yeah, in the same One film. One scene you're going to have Rishi, the next scene you're going to have him, and then right. it's going to go back to Rishi. Right. Because depending, depending on, on the edit and the, the, the way it was shot. Yeah. Um, I like... I mean, clearly, if this is one of his last films... How can you just leave it on the editing floor? Yeah. You know, you've got to... I, I applaud them for... That's that's my primary interest in this, is to just be able to see what is yeah. historically his last piece of work. It's you know? hard, to, because obviously Rishi brings such a vibrance and a life to his character, it looks yeah. like, and he's like more like bubbly. And then the other guy... He just, it's obviously, it's not bad what he's doing. He's just, it, it's a completely, it looks like a completely different person. Like, right. Obviously it is, but I'm saying the character wise, because it is, it's played it by is. a different person and a different actor. And it's not that he's playing it wrong. He's playing it how he would have played it. Exactly. Which, one of the amazing things about acting, it shows you how many different ways people can play a certain character. Right. And why some actors you think of more than others, because like they're in the same age bracket. You could put Tom Hanks in a role and you could put Jeff Goldblum in a role, mm -hmm. same lines, it's going to be a completely different incarnation because it's Jeff Goldblum and Tom Hanks. <laughs> you know? That's one of the beautiful things about acting. Yeah. Um, um, and so obviously in the film looks like it's going to be like a one of those, um, it's going to have a heart-touching stuff yeah. at the end because it's going to be about family and, and uh, people getting older and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, and I hope it looks like it's going to try to uh, smash uh, lightly, but smash stereotypes of... Sorry. Smash what it means to be old or retired, which I my idea of retirement. I it's I. What's your it, idea of retirement? I don't. It's foreign. Boggles my mind. It's a it's a industrial age creation. I don't. I understand people reaching a place where they cannot do what they used to do, mm. especially in certain industries where that happens. Like in if athletics, you have to, you can't compete at that level at a certain point. But for people, just this carte blanche expectation that when you hit a certain age, you should retire is, it's, it's like, it's like expecting at this age, you should be potty trained. And at this age, you should be, I've never, I've never, I mean, I've never understood the concept of retirement. I think it's more of, I don't want to work anymore. And that's the age that the government will. <laughs> I know, but that's, that. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, I under, I, I know that like there's the goal, the financial planning goal, which was created a lot by the banks to here in America to get you to a place where you don't have to work anymore and you have enough money to not have to work anymore. But work is a blessing and a contribution to society. And there's a lot of people who stop working and feel like they aren't making a contribution to life anymore because it's not just about you. It's about the, the greater good and the whole. That's why you see so many people of retirement age we're going to Walmart here because they don't want to sit at home. They want to be connected to society and people and serving. And or, so I'm, I'm hoping they cover that. Or, yeah, it'd be, it'd be, obviously the retirement stuff in India is obviously going to be very different than it is here. Very different. As is, I mean, aging. Like, I mean, I don't, <sighs> can't tell you. I, I, I w I've been told before that at your age, you should be just focusing on the spiritual things and meditating and praying because you're reaching the end of your life. It's like, okay, if you think this is the end of my life. <laughs> Old Rick is yeah. about to die. Old Rick, you better stop going to the gym and acting like those young and start acting your age, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Anyways, looks interesting. Sit in the chair, get fat and high cholesterol and die in five years. <laughs> um, but yeah, the film looks uh, really interesting. I'm hoping Rishi got more than 75% of the film done, I'm hoping. I hope so, so you get too. to see most of Rishi. Uh, and uh, obviously, it's not their fault that they had to 
No, do I what they my had heart to goes. Do. To, the whole team and the cast and the, the creators that's to a, have that happen. That's thing. tough. That's tough. It's like if you had Irfan and Roll for his last film, and you're like, "Hey, other actor, come in here and replace Irfan." Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> But I'll be very interested to see one. I want to see it just for the honoring of Rishi's last work, and and I would really like to see. And I'm hoping it's going to be what we're we're talking about. I'm hoping you're just going to get to see the same role portrayed by two different people, and uh, I've only ever seen it done. Like for example, most everybody knows Topol's Tevya from Fiddler on the Roof, mm -hmm. but I've seen other Tevyas on stage, and uh, it's very interesting to watch other people incarnate that character. Uh, because that's different than, say, what, what happened with The Joker, because it's a completely different film with Joaquin Phoenix and Heath mm -hmm. Ledger. Yeah. Versus Fiddler, it's the exact same words, it's the same character. It's just completely different embodiment, depending upon the actor. So I, I'm, looking, back I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this and what should be our next Rishi Kapoor film. Uh, older or newer. Um, I think... What was I know we saw him in Kapoor and Son. He was like one of our favorite parts, our of, favorite parts of that. Yep. Kapoor and Sons. And obviously... A New York bar, Anthony. Right. Um, but yeah. What else of his should we watch? Let us know down below.